Hi guys, welcome to another video. So if you saw either of my two unboxing videos, I picked up a few fight sticks. So one of them's uh, this one here, this Hori Fighting Stick SS, um, and the other one, a uh, real, real Arcade Virtua Fighter Stick, also from Hori. And so one of the first things I did when I picked up these sticks was take the back off and have a little look inside and see how they work. One of the things I saw with this stick in particular is that it's really easy to see the mechanism of how that stick actually works and, and triggers the different different directions. And so, you know, when this stick moves, you know, in each direction you hear the little clicks, you know what's actually happening. And so I thought it might be interesting just to share that with you. Okay, so we've got this stick turned over now. And so what you can see in, in white is this restrictor plate. So this provides two functions. One is to provide some structural rigidity to the unit itself, um, but also that square there restricts the movement of the of the joystick in each direction. And then within that square, you can see these little metal metal bars. Each of those are moved by the stick when it moves, um, triggering a little button. And so those buttons, those micro switches, those are then sending a signal to whatever computer or console that you're using that a left or a right or an up or a down um, has been registered by the controller and then that, that the game should process that. And so, you know, that stick moving, presses the button, registers the input. And that this stick can then move in each direction. Let's say this, this restrictor plate is square, so it's got a square, square gate. And so if you go into the corner, both say the up and the left uh, would be depressed. Um, and so you're getting a diagonal, diagonal movement. And that's basically it. It's a pretty simple mechanism. You've basically got four switches in each direction, and that's sending inputs to the computer, just like pressing up, down, left, or right on your keyboard. And so what we'll do now is um, take this restrictor plate off and just have a look at these, these micro switches and just show that they're pretty simple units, basically. So we've taken out those four screws and removed the restrictor plate. And what you can see here are the four micro switch units. You see, in this case, they're Zippy brand, but because they're fairly standard parts, these can be swapped, swapped out for different types of unit, giving a different feel to the stick. And these are basically just acting as switches, remember? So they've got two wires out, registering on, on or off for each direction. So, you know, really very simple, uh, basic mechanism. And that makes sense because these things would go in arcades and they need to be durable, but they also need to be serviceable. So having standard units that can be easily opened up with new pieces replaced um, you know, that's desirable for the arcades where there's going to be a lot of use and these machines are going to go wrong. And so that is basically the, the simple function of, of this stick. What I'm going to show you now is my other Hori stick, the uh, Real Arcade Virtua Fighter stick, which has a slightly different twist on this mechanism. It's very similar, um, but slightly different. So let's take a look at that now. So here's the back of this stick. So there's some key differences here in the way that this stick works compared to the one we've just looked at. So firstly, the restrictor gate, you'll see in the corners, slightly more rounded. So that's gonna give a different feel to the stick, make it slightly easier to go from say left um, to down or left to up. The other thing is that we don't see these metal bars like we saw in the other stick. So this time, the actual um, stick, the, the, the um, width of it is much thicker and so it's actually the stick itself directly hitting uh, micro switches rather than hitting a lever, which then triggers a micro switch. So again, this is gonna give a slightly different feel to the stick and the micro switches, again, depending on the brand, is gonna behave slightly differently. So to recap, basically we've taken a look inside an arcade stick such as this, had a look at the back and seen the restrictor plate and the micro switches, and basically how that these translate movement of the stick into signals to the computer to register up, down, left or right. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you do, please hit subscribe and I'll be back with more videos soon.